This is Daily Gold, let us begin. Okay, so jumping in towards everything for today, we have farmed up Razor Fen Downs. We did Razor Fen Crawl like a week or so ago, and now it's finally time to just do Razor Fen Downs. And it did not disappoint, because Razor Fen Downs is one of the best known dungeons for transmog and overall in this run i managed to get some decent results so that being said you can see the run on the screen right now or you've been seeing it let's just jump into the results shall we now if we go in towards everything within worth it we can jump all the way over towards razor fen downs managed to net us 137,000 golds worth of invited item value items and that is based off of the region market average obviously i'm basing the region market average for everyone so everyone gets a good idea instead of just my server which is very highly competitive for transmog and the value is very much lower if we go over towards razor fen downs right now we got a few keynote items when it comes towards everything is the quill shooter we managed to get that that one on the region market average is going for 29,000 gold and it can sell on my server for about 8k so there you can see the disparity with my server and the region as a whole all of the other ones is the storm gale fist which goes for roughly around about 47,000 gold on the region market average but on my server 6000 gold the robe of the magi which is one that i didn't actually expect to get and that one has a region market average of 4400 gold but on my server is a thousand gold and then you have one more which is the midnight mace my server is 13 gold yeah you can definitely see the disparity there the region market average for that one is 1663 gold adding into total there was two kino massive items that actually netted us a lot of the gold that we actually got from this however if we go in towards instances and we go over towards razor fen downs we can find that razor fen downs is right here and we can add this in to have a nice little gander at everything. The different types of items you can get from this particular gold farm is the Quill Ward Harness, which is currently going for on the region market average of 36,000 gold or 7,000 on my server. The Death's Head Vestment for 29,000 gold going on my server for 249. Uh, the Thought Cast Boots, 24,000 gold but on my server 866 the corpse shroud now this one's an interesting one this one is a headpiece that's going on the region market average of 56,000 gold but sells on my server for 16,000 not bad the Bria treasures is going for 23,000 region market and my my server is 2200 the Gale Fist, we've already covered this one because we actually got this item, but 47 to 6,000. Well, Shooter, we got that one as well. The Ebony Bone Club is the region market average for this one is 60,000 gold, but 4,979 gold on my server. And then we have the Bone Slasher, which currently is going for around about 102,000 gold on the market value average but on my server is 56,000 gold. Nice. The Manslayer going for 169,000 gold, but on my server is 12,000 gold. And then we've got the Freezing Shard, which is a nice little wand, and the region market average is 32,000 gold, but the price on my server is 4,999 gold. As you can see, the difference between my server and everyone else's, hence why we're valuing it off of the region market average, so everyone gets a nice idea of what you are expected to get for this. All in all, Razor Fen Downs was really easy. All I had to do was just beeline it right to the last boss, just slaying everything as I go. I don't gather up any of the mobs and burn them down typically. I just see a pack, hit it, loot, carry on. I found that to be the most easiest way in order to farm this one up and overall it just generally turned out to be a very decent gold farm in the grand scheme of things. So if we jump in towards our mailbox quickly we can have a look at the, all of this and we actually do have a couple of sales for today because we got a lot from the chests within Race of End Downs and Race of End Downs generally has a lot of chests just hit, hidden 
and you don't generally need a rogue to open them all. They're usually they're all openable to that effect. But however, there is one transmog item we actually did sell here, and that was the Star Flare Vest of the Fire Flash for 767 gold. Nice. And then you've got all of the different types of materials and everything that came in with that. So that's 1,638 gold. I'm very happy to see a bit more sales coming in. However, my numbers on the auction house, if we take a look, we do need to bump those numbers up because we're currently at 356 auctions on the auction house we're aiming for a thousand and our total gold value on the auction house is one million one hundred and two thousand four hundred and eleven gold so all in all we could always go a bit further into rate of end downs and we could select this group right here we can have a look that on my server after my run on as i've already stated a very competitive server for Transmog, it netted me around about 21,000 gold value for Transmog on this one. Obviously our keynote items is the Quill Shooter and the Storm Gale vet, uh, Fists, however the other different types of ones do add up quite nicely in the grand scheme of things. Overall I'm looking forward to what tomorrow will bring with everything else. If you want the data export then that is currently on the Excel spreadsheet which is located on the Discord. Everything else to that will affect when it comes towards the, my TSM profile and also when it comes towards the worth it beta, which is what we're gathering the data for, is on the Patreon as well as all that. So if you want to check that out, go over to there. Other than that, have an awesome rest of your day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. <laughs>